Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a few ways to fix the Realtek HD Audio Manager not showing problem. Usually, this is related to Windows updates that mess up the driver. There are a few things we can try. Begin by opening your control panel. Set View By on large icons. Check for both Realtek HD Audio Manager and HD Audio Manager. It's possible that this is shown as HD Audio Manager, which can be confusing if you are searching for Realtek. The version can be slightly different as well. For the first method, we are going to try and update the drivers. To do this, click on the Windows search bar and type in Device Manager. Open it. In here, click on Sound, Video and Game Controllers. This opens a drop-down menu that should contain something like Realtek High Definition Audio. Right-click on it and select Update Driver. You can try the first option, which is to have Windows 10 search for the best driver automatically. This is a long shot, but you never know. You can check in Windows Update as well, but again, this isn't very likely to offer a solution. If this doesn't work, right-click on it once more, but this time select the second option. Browse my computer for drivers. Choose the second option. Let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select Realtek High Definition Audio and click on Next to continue. This is going to install the drivers. It shouldn't take too long to complete. When it is done installing the drivers, you need to restart your PC. Hopefully this was enough to fix your Realtek HD Audio Manager missing in Windows 10 problem. If not, continue on to the next method. In the second method, we are going to uninstall and then reinstall the Realtek software. To do this, we open the control panel once more. Scroll down until you reach Realtek High Definition Audio Driver. Select it and click on Uninstall. A pop-up opens. Click on Yes to remove the software. This can take a short bit to complete. When it is done, you need to restart your PC, so do this first. Next, just to make sure, we are going to delete the old Realtek folders if they are still there. Go to Program Files and delete the Realtek folder. Don't worry about it if the folder doesn't exist. Do the same for the x68 program files. Check for the folder and delete it if it's there as well. This is probably the most important part of this tutorial, and that is finding a good download link. Usually, a lot of problems are the result of a bad version. Through the following link, you can download the latest version of Realtek HD Audio Manager. You can copy the link from the description. It's best to select the latest version available. Also, you need to make sure that you download a version that works for your PC. Most of these versions are universal, but it's possible that brand-specific links pop up as well. Click on the version that you want to download. On the next page, scroll down and click on Download. Alternatively, you can download the software from the Realtek website itself. Both of these links work for me. You most likely need to download the 64-bit version, as almost all PCs are going to be 64-bit these days. Open the .exe file if you download it from the Realtek website. Otherwise, open the folder once the download is complete. Then you need to navigate to the setup.exe. Double-clicking on it will start the installation wizard. Click on Next a few times to start the installation. This won't take too long because we properly uninstalled Realtek first. Once it is done, you need to restart your PC. Now that you have restarted the PC, you should be able to start the HD Audio Manager from the control panel. If it isn't showing, you need to navigate to the following folder. C, Program Files, Realtek, Audio, HDA. In this folder, you should have the file RAVCPL64.exe. This file is responsible for adding the program to the control panel. Double click on it, and hopefully, you are good to go. This concludes our Realtek HD Audio Manager missing in Windows 10. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Be sure to subscribe if you want to watch more Windows or software related tutorials. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.